Hello and welcome. I'd like to make a quick apology that I haven't released any new new videos in a while. There are two reasons for this. One, I've run into internet writer's block. I have no idea what I truly want to be doing on the internet. This has been a problem that's been facing me since day one, really. And two, my computer's officially foobarbed. So I may have to get somebody to look at it and in the not too distant future and see if I can either upgrade or get a new computer. But anyway, that's beside the point. I thought I'd quickly... And don't worry, I can still make videos. I can, I'll just have to upload them via my phone. So anyway, that's beside the point a bit. I thought I'd do a quick video on showing, on, showing off the books I have on various arts. You know, the first one that I've got here is... Uh, Dragon Tattoos, which I bought. I was probably a bit hesitant on buying this one, but you know, uh, you know, it was three ninety nine, and I think its original cost was fourteen ninety nine. So you know, that was a find and a half. And you got like various tattoos of dragons. You know, there's a man's naked ass. You got women's naked asses. Another naked man's ass. So, you know, you got various tattoos. Jesus Christ, I like to see a lot of naked men's asses. I've been through this book once before, and I know there's a couple of women's asses in it. So, anyway. You've got this one, which I bought when I pre-ordered Dragon's Crown. Which is the Dragon's Crown artwork book. Yeah, there's a woman's ass for you. There's concept art. Various foods. Don't look, it's a one pair of breasts, oh no. The enemies in the game. Various guys you can talk to. Guys in the town. The sorceress. The mage. Or the wizard. The archer, or the elf, as they call it. The dwarf. Yep, there it says dwarf. The uh, Amazon, who, whoops. Crap, where do I was I? Dwarf, Amazon. Amazon, there you go. Very muscular person. The fighter. It's kind of, if you ever played Dragon's Crown, it's kind of like a, a Streets of Rage or Golden Axe. Got a book on, is it A.R. Lewis? S.A. Lewis or Lewis? I bought this one from a charity shop. Yeah, it's a fairly good book. I mean, I've been through this a couple of times, and it's kind of inspired me. I kind of some people will say I have a very if you have, ugh, sorry about that. if I've, if you ever watch any of my artwork, you'll probably know I probably want to be more ugh, probably need to release more videos on my artwork. If you go from my channel, you'll see that I've actually uploaded several videos on art. Yeah, this one. It's got a very dark style and I like it. Here's a fine and a half. H.R. Giger or Geiger. If you don't know who he is, he's done... Uh, what is it? The artwork for Species, Dark Seed 1 and 2. And it's probably most famous for doing the character design for Aliens. This one was a fine and a half because it was only... Marked down to one ninety nine, and I looked up online, and buying one of these would cost me about thirty to forty pounds. Hmm. Oh, that's already on there. Thought somebody staple glued that on there. Then, oops, naked woman. I'm really not sure if I could show you some of this because it's very graphic. You know, you got like naked women and various parts of the body. You know, Giga is like a, if you ever seen uh, Aliens, you know, he does like having guys naked and cybernetic and that. I think there's one one picture of a guy with a shotgun for a knob, giving himself a blowjob. Now there's a picture that I was talking about. Like I said, he did, did a Dark Seed 1 and 2 and I think 30 to 40... Different album covers. Just a simple one. World's Greatest Artist A to Z. 
and just various artists and probably one of the most famous pictures. I wonder if Giga's in here. I don't know, I haven't been through this one with Find Who Comb. You know, there's that guy in a shark that I just skipped over. Who's that? Yeah. Simply put. And here's an interesting one. How to draw caricatures. Eisenstein. You got various celebrities and that. Oops. I dropped the case on my phone. It's Tony Blair. Uh, Mr. Bean. The Queen. Clint Eastwood. Jim Carrey, a.k.a. The Mask. Gandhi. Elvis. Oh. Eisenstein. A. Murphy. It's kind of a shame that his career's gone down to the toilet. At least I like his film. Stallone. I sound like a cow. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze for a second. Just pre-war, pre-renaissance -re art. This is a very simple one. Just various paintings and that. Hey, it's Jesus. Just, you know, text and paintings. Yeah, I think this, yeah, this one was bought from a charity shop, if I recall. I tend to buy a lot of these from charity shops. Yeah, reduced down to two ninety nine. Here's an interesting one. Star Wars artwork by, you know, you've got various ships and backgrounds and creatures. Was it, when was this made? Was this before the Star Wars prequels or? and So yeah, this was way before the Star Wars prequels. Oh, I missed Cloud City then for a second. Cloud City! Nothing but clouds! I have no idea what those creatures are. Hey, Cloud City again. Oh yeah, I think there's an error with this one. There's a bit where they actually re yeah, repeat the uh, artwork at one... This book in accidentally repeats itself. First time I realised that, I thought... Hadn't I re... re uh, haven't I read that? I'm oh, giant sea slug. It's, it looks like something from Aliens. I have no idea who that is. Uh, there you go, this Star Wars. This one's a substantial one because this is the first book that I actually ever bought. This was like, uh, was this? Yeah, I think this been a charity shop. One. So you know, you. I tend to. This tends to be my bread and butter, you know. So if I don't know how to draw something or I need to re go over the basics, you know, I tend to whip this one out. And you know, it's my bread and butter. Some handy tips there. You can, you know, like. <sighs> Oops, sorry about that. You know, your standard stuff, you know how to draw. 
people, places. You know, this is a very handy one to have if you want to get started. Here's a fun and a half, and surprisingly, this one wasn't bought from a charity shop, so I actually had to pay how much it was worth. Was this one reduced? You know, video game art. So you got various characters like Sackboy, uh, Uncharted 2, Skeleton, The Medic. Are those characters from Fable? Yeah, Fable 3. Some more skeletons. The guy from Far Cry. T no, not Far Cry. Crisis 2. This one's very good if you want to know how to draw. You know, either very extra uh, out there kind of characters or how to get characters to move properly. Jack and the guy from o Odyssey to the West. More skeletons. Odyssey to the West does feature quite a few times in here. You got that chick from Tekken, Paul, uh, backgrounds, Nico Bellic, Prince of Persia. So that's that book. Drawing Manga. Yes, this one was just used to. Five pounds fifty. Kinky. So you know this one's very good if you want to know how to draw manga or the manga style. It's got very sexualized characters in this one. So if you're easily offended by sexualized women, I wouldn't recommend reading this one. More moe, moe. Dying at suit, Moe, 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 Moe. Essentially, if you want to know how to draw Moe, wall and wall and paintings. This is essentially graffiti, which I would say this is probably one of my personal favourite ones because you know, obviously, this one's pretty much got. You know, it's very urban and very much, you know, I would say it's probably the most political art can get because it comes from, simply put, slow children. You know, like I said, it's political and from people, quality from the people. That one, that, that one never fails to crack me up. Bowling. <laughs> hey, what does that one remind you of? Jesus. That's twice. <laughs> oh, the HMV with the dog wear bazooka. Mickey Mouse. Like I said, this is probably my favourite one out of them all. Fuck pig. Like I said, this one, if you're... You know, if you can find this one, I'd recommend it. This is probably one of my favourite ones to just read. I think this is the second to last one. This one I also do like. This this one is probably my second favourite. Japanese art. This one up close. Potentially ancient Japanese art. Various armour. 
you know, the art style of the time. This one I do like. Got various sculptures and uh, plates. And this one, this probably is a find and a half. And this probably one, if you can find this one, this is one worth getting. Let's draw manga Transformers bot robots. More than meets the eye. Yep, it's how to draw Transformers. <laughs> Spaceships, helicopters, bombers, fighters, tank, trains, sorry. They've got ta yeah, there's the tank. There's, you know, how to draw female body if it was a robot. Bulldozer. 4x4. Sports, whoops. Oh, was I 4x4. Sports cars. Heads. How to draw, essentially how to draw them. Transforming into bots. And a kind of brief history on the Transformers. That one is probably the most interesting one I have. 